Hi everyone, welcome back. Today I've come to Horsey Gap in Norfolk to come and see the famous seals. It's a bit of a dirt track road to get here. There's a car park at the end and you can pay by the hour. There is a long walk though to get to the seals. We'll see that in a minute, but we'll start the tour here, just literally at the car park. And there's some guys here that will take your money. Um, literally, it will cost you three pound for up to two hours and five pound for over that. So literally, how do you get to see the seals? Obviously, um, I realized that as you walk towards the beach, certain areas will be cornered off, including this part of the beach. You can't actually get down to the beach. This is to protect the seals and the pups, but there are signs labeled here. This is all situated on the Horsey Estate and Horsey Warren, where you can see loads of amazing wildlife. And just coming through this awkward gate, Norfolk Coastal Path, obviously Winston in this direction if you kept on walking. And actually you can see seals for pretty much three miles along the coast. And it's quite a nice walk. The seal colony starts from here and you can walk all the way on the uh, sand dunes or you can walk this way. We're gonna go this way, it's all roped off as well. It's really lovely walking up here though, in the dunes. But uh, this is the time of the year where the seal pups are being born right through, I think it's till either January or February. Um, and obviously years ago, you know, nothing was was ever here to stop people going up to the seals. So it's, it's really good that uh, this has been done. Nice autumnal day for it. In fact, it's quite mild. And you'll see lots of wardens about as well, making sure people are obeying the rules, making sure they don't go on the beach. It's Friends of Horsey Seals, which was set up in late 2011 to take over the management of the project, which was set up initially by Natural England back in 2002. So it is a little bit of a way to get to the seals. You can see some of them just in the distance there and where people and the crowds are. Again, they're well away from the seals. Remember, these seals are wild animals as well. So the area along the beach here is known as the nursery, known as a rookery. On arrival, the seal will select a place above the tide line where they'll give birth, usually within 24 hours, and they'll protect their territory against intrusion by other seals. That's why you'll see them fighting sometimes. At birth, the pups weigh around 13 kilos. They've got a soft, creamy white coat, which is not waterproof, so they have to stay on the beach um, and suckle on their mother's milk for at least 18 to 21 days. During this time, the pup will get a layer of blubber under the skin, which will act as a food resource when its mother leaves and basically it's left to fend for itself. 
Obviously looks like a board here where they normally tell us how many pups are on the beach and how many seals are on the beach. The, obviously this count will get going later on in the season. And a great time to come up here actually is um, around Christmas. You'll probably see a lot more seals on the beach and it's a lovely walk around Boxing Day. I'm just going to go up these steps here because there's another entrance here to see some more seals just along the cliff top. Seals can live a very long life as well. On average, males live about 25 years. Females live longer than the men, up to 35 years. And just notice this pillbox, which is actually in pretty good condition. As I walk inside, luckily it doesn't smell of wee where most of these do um, and uh, they've actually got some quite good advantage points here looking out the windows um, this one you can just go in have a walk around check out the views I wonder if there are coffee cups there so that was horsey seals do make sure you check it out obviously abide by the rules and as always, please make sure you give the video a thumbs up. You can subscribe. And if you want to support the channel, there are plenty of details in the description. And as always, I'll see you next time.